While Lincoln was president-elect, he reportedly said, Brady and the Cooper Institute made me president. Well, you just heard about the speech at the Cooper Union, or Institute as he called it. But who's Brady? Look inside these big windows as we explain. Lincoln was talking about Matthew Brady, the most famous photographer of his time. That's one of his actual cameras. He had a studio in New York City, and if you were important, or hoped to be, you came to his studio to get your portrait done. Photography was still fairly new, but four of the last five presidents had sat for Brady. So Lincoln went to Brady's studio on the same day he gave the Cooper Union speech. The photo Brady took was printed everywhere and became the image of Lincoln for the presidential campaign. Brady was an artist, and he worked to make Lincoln look intelligent, confident, and strong. But it was a challenge. Listen as Brady decides how to photograph Lincoln. All right, stand up, please, Mr. Lincoln. I think a standing pose will show people how impressively tall you are. Okay, now unbutton your jacket, please. I want to make your chest look fuller. Mm -hmm. All right, let's comb that hair so it covers the tops of your ears. I think that's better. Oh, and one more thing. Could you pull your collar up a bit? I want to hide your long neck. Okay, I think we're ready. Look directly at the camera. Hold it. The exposure will take 15 seconds. Later, Brady also touched up the photograph to correct Lincoln's wandering eye, fill in the wrinkles on his face, and erase the dark circles under his eyes. And it all worked. As Lincoln said, the photo and the speech made him president. Next, look for stop number 113. 